I just want to try to Here, ignore me. him. Oh, oh this isn't too bad. What kind of music is it? Uh, some Christian music I put on there before we came up. Oh, well, in that case, you can have it back. No offense. Yeah, I don't really like Christian music. It's just a little too boring for me. Right. No offense. But hey, let's wait up. Miss Palmer, wait up. Thank you, oh, sir. Well, now, our next excuse section. me, sir. I need you. What come now? Back home. Hey, I need you. Come sit right here. I need you to uh, turn around, please. I need your bigger sunglasses, also. Do uh, you have anything else you need to know about? No. Uh, okay. I, I think we can move on. Yeah, yeah let's Okay. Go ahead. All right, folks. Let's go to our concourse area. All right. Now this part of our tour is the concourse gate. Now this is the last stop you'll make before you board your flight. And we have tried to make it as comfortable as we can because you and I both know that sometimes traveling, you have to wait, okay? So we've, we've got a great magazine selection. Um, we've got the news going on for you. We've got a great snack bar, wireless internet. We have all the facilities you would need to stay a while and to freshen up. Anyway, uh, so what, uh, we're going to wait here just a minute. The next area of our tour is a more secure area, so I need to go check our clearance. And let them know that we're coming and that we have a big group, all right? So just hang out right here and I'll be right back. More? No. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. See what? He said that guy's hot. That guy? Yeah. Are you serious? Is that all you can talk about, boys? So? You guys are stupid. I'm a stupid one. At least I'm not afraid to fly. Enough already. I said it one time. I was afraid. You don't have to keep picking on me. Sorry. I mean, really, more people die in car crashes than plane accidents anyways. Whatever. Are you really not afraid? Do what? Earlier, when we were getting our boarding passes, you said you weren't afraid to die. Well, big, big call. Look, I'm not real good about talking about this, but let me show you some scriptures. My youth pastor taught me last Wednesday. Do we have time? Look, right here, Romans 6, 8 through 9. It says, Now if we die with Christ... We believe that we will also live with him. Morning for flight 316 on stop for Washington, D.C. will begin shortly. Gosh, look, anyway, go to Romans 6, 8 through 9. It says, now if hey we. Hey guys, listen, if y'all need to get a snack, a magazine, or if you need to go to the restroom, you might want to do that pretty soon. Because we're we boarding. It's going to be a long flight, okay? Okay, tell her. Gosh, we are running out of time. But this is how I know that I'm going to heaven. It says right here, John 3, 16, for a gospel of the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in... Excuse me, what's your problem? You're running out of time. Hey, Chris, are, are you really reading the Bible? Why, yeah, I was just showing Kelly a few scriptures. Scriptures? Kelly doesn't need that, but while you're at it, why don't you just give a little Bible story? <laughs> yeah. Who 
look that up. We don't have time for that. We can talk about it later. No, we can talk about it later. Goodness. Hey, what's up what you're doing? Listen, I've been sitting here listening to your conversation. You don't need the Bible and you don't need God. I don't know what, why are you even listening to him? You're right. I mean, serious. And it's really annoying. So, won't you just finish telling her on the flight whatever you want to tell her, but you really don't need it. Yeah, she's right. We're going on a trip. We don't have time for the Bible, okay? Put it up. Let's talk about what we're going to do when we get to Washington. Now, boarding for flight 316, seats A1 through 3rd. Yeah. All right, guys. That's us. We need to head that way. Oh, I'm really nervous. Okay, make sure you get out your stuff. Yeah. This is homework. I'm going to put my bags in. Y'all be here. Wait.